this is Stephen Foster and I want to talk to you about the vein of gold which is one of the biggest tools in week one and I want you to really spend some time with it and don't just uh, do it and think that you got it because it's a big big tool about mining your vein of gold. I'm going to give you examples of some actors and how they use their vein of gold. For example, Meryl Streep is really great when she's like playing Margaret Thatcher or someone with an accent or Sophie's Choice. When she's not so great, she's when she does a rom-com. Um, she's okay and she uses a lot of craft and technique to get the performance right, but it's not as powerful as when she's playing one of those meaty characters that she has an accent. Um, let's take Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey is really, really great when he's playing the funny, goofy guy like Liar Liar or Dumb and Dumber. But he's not so great as when he's playing, you know, something, you know, where he's going for an Oscar nod, a legit character. He's good because um, he's a great actor, but not as great as when he's doing one of those goofball, crazy comedies. Now, how this applies to you is you want to start using this tool to start mining your vein of gold. What is it that you do better than anyone else? And the moment you start doing this, it's gonna separate you out at auditions because you're gonna go in with the sense of power. Now, it's basically playing a great big game of Clue with our actor, okay? So it's a lot of fun, and I recommend that you do this with um, a partner or with a group of friends. If you can get a group together to do it, it's great. Um, so here's the vein of gold. I want you to list your five favorite films. They can be any films, just as long as they're your favorite films. And I also want you to list, after that, your favorite childhood book. And what you want to do is you want to look for the common denominators in those films. What characters are similar? What uh, themes are similar? What plot lines are similar? And primarily, which ones you really resonate to? You might go scene by scene through the movies and go, what scenes do I really, really love? What does that character do in that scene? Now, your favorite childhood book. What you want to do is you want to look at that childhood book. Who was the main character? What did they do? What was the... What was the book about? What did the character have to overcome? And see if that ties in with your life, maybe just a little. Now, I'm gonna go a little further with the vein of gold right now. Um, you might wanna look at your I remembers. Look at the first one you wrote and look at it and see what was it about. And that might be part of your vein of gold as well. Um, the other thing that I want you to look at is uh, your script reading. When you're looking at scripts, look for characters that are in the same theme line as the ones that are in your film. In fact, you may go and read some of the scripts that are your Vein of Gold films. Um, and the other thing about the Vein of Gold is look at your collage. Look at the collage on the cover of your notebook and see if some of those themes and characters aren't in there. So that is the vein of gold. Uh, it's a fabulous tool, and my students absolutely love it, and I hope you do too. Thank you.